Hello, it's Kate from Ink Stamp Share Dot Ink. Um, I've just come from um, come back from a weekend away in Amsterdam at Stamping Up Convention. It's called On Stage Live. Um, it was a big three day event, and lots of stamping up demonstrations from all demonstrators from all across Europe met up um, for the whole weekend and attended this big event run by Stamping Up. Um, it's these events are amazing. They're so well done. Stamping up really look after their demonstrators. Um, they show us all the new product range that's coming out in the summer. We get to play with it, um, and they give us training, and we have a lot of social occasions. And it's just an amazing event. You know, it's just wonderful. But one of the things that we do when we're there is we swap. We swap little ideas. So most of us take swaps along, and we we think of an idea, and we make the either a card front or a little 3D project or something that we think might inspire somebody. Um, we replicate it as many times as we choose and then we take it and we hand them out and we swap them with each other. So we come home with a bag full of inspiration uh, with just using the current products that are in the catalogue. And my swap was this little envelope. I made this envelope by cutting up the um, um, 12 by 12 sheets of paper into six by six. So I'd get a four from one big piece. And I used the Bright's collection of designer series papers for mine. Um, and I used it to make um, these little envelopes using the envelope punch board. Um, and inside my little envelope, I put tea. So it's a little tea bag holder. And it's a lemon, ginger, and manuka honey tea bag um, in mine. And I have put the bee on the front, that lovely little bee cut out from Dragonfly Dreams. And I've put him on there and I've coloured him, him in the silvery, shiny wink of Stella. Don't know if you can see that shimmering. Um, and I have used the stitch shape framelits for the front label. And I've stamped in the same bright colours, Everyone Needs a Friend Like You, um, from the Sweet Sentiment stamp set. And I've put the little enamel shape in the same colour and I had a whole rainbow of these going on. I used lots of the brights colours and this is the one that I had left. I kept back um, just one of them. So this was mine and I handed out 50 of these and I got lots of goodies back and I'm going to quickly show you my swaps that I got on at on stage in Amsterdam. Um, so this is a cute little one and somebody's used the basket bunch, Easter bunny and Emonette has given me this one. Um, I think she's a French demonstrator. Um, there were about 830 demonstrators at this event, so there were an awful lot of people there. Lots of people you might know when you go or not, so we just hand out hand our swaps out to everybody and uh, yeah we made lots of new friends. I've got a lovely little chocolate egg in this one. How sweet that is. I love it. Little box. This is a cute one. It's They've embossed the cardstock made the box and then they've used the um, these sheets with the gold embossing already printed on them. They're in the Stampin' Up! catalogue. And there's little Werther's Originals inside there. You'll find there's a theme that goes on with swaps. There's always a lot of chocolate and sweets and lovely things. This one, I love this one. Somebody's, uh, one of the Dutch uh, demonstrators has printed Amsterdam in the little label uh, labeler set. Amsterdam 2017 and she's done it in whoops she's done it in the Dutch colours and she's put on stage how beautiful is that and she's done the little bicycles because as you know there's bicycles everywhere in Amsterdam and that is isn't it gorgeous and she's put the flowers on there too and this is from Sandra thank you Sandra it's beautiful another little one. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a German demonstrator that's given me this. Handmade with love. Lucy. Thank you, Lucy. It's beautiful. And she's put a chocolate in there in her box. This box looks like it's a long piece made with a tag top of framelet, a uh, punch even. And she's then carried on making a box, which is ingenious. And she's used some of the ruche ribbon in the perfect plum and the baker's twine. Here's another little one using the tag topper. This is a really common theme, uh, making a little box just out of a punch and they've used the basket bunch rabbit. And I've got some chocolate, another chocolate egg inside there. This one is so cute, it's a cute little box. Used in the same kind of papers that I've used for mine, but I think she's used the neutrals. Um, and this is, I think this is Angelique. Angelina, let me just see. Who has made this one? 
Angelina. Thank you, Angelina. She's one of my colleagues in my larger team. I thought it was her. Yeah, she's made this lovely box full of sweeties. I like that. This is fab, this one. I've undone the twine on this one to make it a bit easier to get into. It's a, uh, it's a little triangle box and one of the uh, German uh, demonstrators has put her sentiment on the front. She's used the Swirly Bird stamp set. It's Marin. Thank you, Marin. And inside I've got another sweetie in there. These would be great to hang off a Christmas tree if you did it in a Christmas tree theme. Or uh, for little favours, wouldn't it? It's perfect. I've got a card front using the Jar of Loves car, uh, stamp set. Little fireflies in it with thank you. And this is from Holly Robinson. Thank you, Holly. Oh, this is another one. This is called uh, Love Sparkles as well. That's really nice. This is off my very dear friend, Nikki. Nikki Joyce, she's done a be beautiful job of these, hasn't she? And this is the Tag Topper Punch, and she scored it along the bottom. And she's used the designer tea framelets to make the beautiful t-shirt on the front and the pretty satin ribbon. And she's filled it full of goodies as well. Thank you, Nikki. Um, somebody's used the idea of the um, sour cream container. Now, if you look on YouTube, you'll find lots of different people have, have made these and they're really simple to make, they're really effective. And she's used the stitch shape framelits on there also and some pretty feathers. And this is Dee Daddily has made this for us. But she's been rather ingenious and instead of gluing the top, she's got a magnet closure on hers, which is really clever. And she's put sweeties in there too. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, this is a beautiful card. This is just gorgeous. And this is made by Gina. How lovely is that? And she's punched out the, um, the flower and layered them up. And she's used some of the gold glimmer paper for the leaf. And this one's made using Beautiful You. And I'm not sure which um, if this is the blossom, I think this is the blossom bunch punch, um, where she's laid the flowers and inked them up. And that's from Bianca Schmidt. Thank you, Bianca. It's beautiful. Really prettily done. Um, there's a punch in the start, in the catalogue. It's a fox builder, but you can build it up and make all sorts of animals using the stamps, um, that coordinate. And this, this one has got a cat on it with on stage. I think it's a cat. And she's used the stitch shape framelits as well on hers. And this is Benedict. Yeah. Foxy Friends she's used. Brilliant. This one is Dragonfly Dreams again. Um, Amsterdam. Perfect, isn't it? Babeth. Thank you, Babeth. That's pretty. pretty. She's made a really effective grid on there and inked it up. Oh, this is lovely. This is, I think this is Falling Flowers. Um, Pet, uh, the Petite Petals Butterfly Punch um, in the uh, Night of Navy um, Designer Series papers and she's put them all together and it's very elegant. That's really lovely. Um, uh, let's see, this is Angelique. Very lovely, thank you Angelique. The Dragonfly Dreams is really popular and it is really pretty and this one has got Wink of Stella all over the leaves and she stamped it in Bermuda Bay and and we've got a smaller dragonfly behind um, Bermuda Bay and Pool Party. Uh, Autumnly Artistic is the other stamp set she's used to get the small dragonfly. Um, and that's Emma. Thank you, Emma. That's really pretty. This one I love as well. This one has, um, I think she's used the doilies that are in the current spring summer catalogue and inked through them. And how beautiful is that? Love it. And that's from Isabel. Thank you, Isabel. And uh, I think that's another French demonstrator. This is the pen and painted stamp set and it's absolutely beautiful. Um, and I think this is from, yes, this is from my good friend Karen Spreckley. She always makes such beautiful cards. That's such an effective set. And she's used some of the, uh, I'm not sure what the embossing folder is that she's used there. I can't remember the name of it. Um, falling leaves but it's in the Stamping Up uh, catalogue and it's really pretty. And she's matched it all in Peekaboo Peach, which is lovely. We have more of the dragonfly and somebody's used our lovely little rhinestones to give a bit of sparkle and uh, absolutely beautiful watercolouring going on there. It's lovely. Thank you, Anne Rees. You've made a lovely job and she's a lady from France. 
um, I have another one using Beautiful You uh, with the French sentiments on it and the stitch shape framelets. Um, that's thank you from Lopez. Thank you very much. Um, we have one with a pint of beer on. This could be a more masculine card. And it says chin chin. <laughs> Love it. That is so cool. Thank you, Belinda. Demo from France, she's put there. That's brilliant. And if you look, the foam has all the, um, the sparkle on from Wink of Stella. That's brilliant. Oh, more sweeties. Lovely. Little heart sweeties. Um, and this person's used the tag top of punch and put sending hugs across the miles. Thank you, Mink. She's one of our Dutch demonstrators, I think. I'm not sure. So this is really good. This is thanks for lifting me up. And this is also used, they've used the tag top of punch again and gone both sides and scored it. And then it added from the, the balloon uh, die from the lift me up. Uh, sweet and put some mementos inside and just tied it together with some baker's twine really effective That would be great as a little table favor, wouldn't it? So many lovely ideas This is fabulous. Hang on. I'm gonna have to put it back together Just so I don't spoil the surprise of this one We'll see if I can Here we go. It's a little matchbox and it's got the succulent papers It's got the succulent papers around it and it says happy stamping if you pull it out Look at the banner, how cool. <laughs> Things like this really please me, how gorgeous. And that is from Kirsten Clark. Isn't that brilliant? Thank you so much. That's absolutely lovely. I have got more beautiful you. That's beautiful, isn't it? The way she's done that with the black and it really pops in the melon mambo. And that's from Nicole. Thank you, Nicole, that's lovely. Um, more chocolate using the uh, tag topper punch. And we've got a little emoji chocolate peeping through that hole that she's punched out there. That's so clever. That is fab. I'm not sure which demonstrator this is. Stemple Panda. Um, this is so lovely, isn't it? She's used this matching stamp and die set. It's so pretty. Um, Ver Veronique Muller. Thank you very much. This is the Botanicals Framelits dies. They're very pretty as well, aren't they? And she's also used the stitch shape for, um, framelits as well. Christiane, thank you, Christiane. Look at the colours, they're lovely. Touches of texture has been used on this one. Um, it's really pretty and I believe Wink of Stella. It's really shiny. So touches of texture in the grey and then the black and then Amazing Inspire is from the... Uh, thoughtful banners that's right and that's from Monique thank you Monique that's really pretty this is so sweet this little one it says thanks and somebody's used the copper foil um, sheets the big copper foil sheets and they've cut it out cut the die out, cut it out with the die and they've embossed it in the embossing copper embossing powder on the stitch shape stitched shape framelits again yeah that is the Falling in Love designer series paper behind there. Copper foil, yeah, and the so detailed thin lips dies, that's called. Okay, this is so cute, isn't it? It's a pen in a box. And this is also touches of no, it's not touches of texture. Yes, it is, it's touch touches of texture. Beautiful you. Detailed dragonfly dies for the little bee, the same bee as I used on mine. Um, classic label punch here. Matching cardstock and ink, embossing powder and baker's twine. Thank you, Liz. I love it. That's my friend Liz. It's really clever. Now, I've undone this one because I was, couldn't wait to have a look inside. I love this little one. It looks like a little handbag. And she's also used the stitch shape framelits to make the closure at the top. And then the little bow came through. And she's put chocolate eggs in there. And this is a clever box because if you look at it, it will. if you didn't have the eggs in there, it will just fold flat. So you could just like store them away until you wanted to use them. How clever. Let's have a look. She's used the Moroccan designer series paper, which I love. This is Monique Vaha from the Netherlands and she's taken her inspiration from Crafty Caroline Creates um, and I love that, that's brilliant. Okay, 
We've got another one here. This is On Stage, Adventure Awaits. Um, and this is, tells you inside, she used the baby wipe technique to stamp the globe, so it's in slightly different colours all round. She's used the um, Places Your Go stamp set and the Touches of Texture and the Label Alphabet. And she's used the Dutch National Colours. Isn't that great? Love it. Very pleased. What have we got here? This is pretty. Easter theme. So got little bunny from the basket bunch dies and the eggs. And then she's put her details on the back. And this is Jenny Perley, and it's beautiful, isn't it? And she's obviously used the, um, I think she might have used the, the Banner Trio Punch, and she's got the Melon Mambo black and white on the top. Isn't that pretty? And this one is gorgeous. It's got the, um, the framed up with the hearts, and she's used the labeler as well to make Amsterdam 2017. So yeah, Sunshine Wishes Thinlets is the heart. Um, the Banner Punch, um, and the scallop tag topper punch she's used. So this is the banner punch. She's got uh, a little bit of linen thread and um, this is made by the tag topper punch and she's got some beautiful satin ribbon on here. And that's from Sandra Klein. Thank you, Sandra, that's lovely. This is so sweet, isn't it? I love this. Wouldn't this be beautiful as a table favor for any occasion? You just could put it in the colors that you wanted to really beautiful we open it up she's popped a little sweet inside she's popped a little chocolate ladybird that is so cute isn't it you could put anything in there that is made by sylvie from amsterdam and it's just beautiful i love that um i think this is the um the blossom bunch punch again layered up with a rhinestone in the middle this is the label punch again, so clever, which scored at the bottom of the chocolate put inside. This is from Car Carola Creations. Thank you, Carola. It's another one, another similar one, using the, the scalloped tag topper punch and the designer tea t-shirt. And it's got Smarties inside. And it's from a demonstrator, a French demonstrator. And I'm sorry, I can't read what it says very well. Casey, maybe? I like that. A very clever person made this one that stands up. This is the detailed dragonfly thinlets, and they come in, you can cut them up, but they, I think you get about four if you cut them out. And she's put them on top of the, she's layered up her flowers and she's, she's stuck them to a piece of acetate so that they sit up. How cute is that? It's lovely. And this is from Baraud, Baraud Drouard. And she's a French demonstrator, thank you. And this is sweet. What is this? Ah, this is the instructions for the one with the Mentos in. That will be why, that's, that's instructions. How clever that she's done that. This is also one of my favorite swaps I've got. This person's made two little boxes and out of the same colors, she stamped these, this pattern on vellum to go around in the paisleys and posies and she's cut them out as well and stamped them and then they it fits in here and then you open it up and inside there's the mentos and there's the tic tac box how amazing and this is not the instructions i want the instructions for this one i'm gonna have to work it out it's brilliant ah i think the instructions are in the bottom Ah, Lily, Lily Hilt, she should put her name in the bottom. Thank you, Lily, it's ingenious. I'm gonna to have to find out how to make it perfect. Love that. Um, this one I've got is marshmallows in a little, using the tag top punch again, and the um, Tasty Treats dies to cut out, which is fab. Thank you, Sabrina. Uh, a little handbag which is stamped with the basket bunch stamps for Easter, with little chicks and eggs and things. And then inside, it's got lots of chocolate eggs in there. If I can open it. Oh, there's chocolate eggs in there. And I think this person's label is in there. Yes, it is. And it's Sue Harris. Thank you, Sue. That is lovely. Perfect. And I think I have one or two more left to show you and we're at the end. You'll be 
relieved we're getting there. So many beautiful things. So this is a watercolour one, I believe. It's very pretty. Made by Valerie, French demonstrator. So that's beautiful. This is done with the stitch shape framelits again, with that little stitch running around the outside. Um, and she's picked out the middle of her stamp image. And um, this is Mediterranean Moments. And she's put the Baker's Twine down it. This is by Oksana. Thank you very much. Um, this is a similar one to my swap, actually. Um, it's a tea bag envelope. So she's done this and this went over the top. Um, nice snug fit so I opened it up and she's got lemongrass, ginger and citrus tea and that's made by Jill Chapman, thank you Jill, she's one of our UK demonstrators and this tickled me pink, this is sending a smile your way and it's got the background stamps in it, on it, which are the bubbles but then if you pull it up, <laughs> you have this little, <laughs> this little octopus type character that she's used by making, um, this is an ice cream die from the Tasty Treats and how brilliant is that? I love it, it's so clever. And that says Handmade by Maria. Um, thank you, Maria, that's very fun. I'm um, not sure if I showed you this one. This is actually the same stamp that's been used on both of these swaps. This is Papillon Potpourri Butterfly, wishing you a beautiful day with a chocolate in. Yeah, I did show you that one already. So that's all of my swaps, I believe. I have a very special swap that I don't have in my bag that I'll show you another time from my from my very special upline called Michelle Last, and I will show you that another time. But that's my big bag of loot and swaps that I bought back from on stage, so I should be having lots of fun trying to recreate some of these. Um, all of the products on all of these swaps are in the Stamping Up catalogue at the moment, so if you like anything there, please pop over and have a look. And it's at, uh, go and have a look at Kate Bolt dot stamping up dot net. Thanks for stopping by.